Hello, in today's video, I'll take you into two thrift stores, a local thrift and a Goodwill. And at the end of the video, I'll show you my thrift haul. Here we go. The first thing I noticed when I walked into Cap Agency was that the whole store had been switched around. I couldn't take a shot of the store because there are actually a decent amount of people in there and I try really hard not to get people in my videos. But the hard goods had mostly been moved to the front of the store and there are a lot fewer tables of hard goods. On this day, I was on the hunt for lamps because I'm doing a little redecorating in my living room and I need some lamps. I think I've mentioned this before. This store tends to have a lot of neat things that are not for sale. This sewing table is one of them. I don't need a sewing table. I actually have one very similar, but I do like to see prices on things and there were no prices because these things were not for sale. It's usually their larger furniture pieces and larger pieces of home decor. I saw several of these little crocheted, almost like mittens of some sort. I don't know. Do you guys have any idea what they are? I really liked this black and white plate with the picture of the camel on it. It did not have a mark on it. It had maybe previously had a sticker of some sort, but no maker's mark, but I just thought it was really pretty. So this is where I started to notice that things were really different because historically this thrift store just had like everything thrown on tables, which I kind of liked here. It looks like they're trying to curate more of a collection. And along with that, all of the prices were higher than they used to be. So I was seeing a lot of things for four and five dollars, whereas this thrift store used to have a lot of things for one and two dollars. So that was kind of a bummer. I like the curated idea. I get it. I see what they're trying to do. But then it's like, where's the rest of your stuff? Because not everything fits into a collection. So I don't know. We'll see what direction it goes. I will go back at least one more time to see what I think. I really liked this cow and for whatever reason, I guess because it's new with a tag, they had it marked at $11. What? And here was a cute pair of salt and pepper shakers. They looked like oranges. The set was $5. I kind of liked these bird nests on branches. I was thinking maybe I could spray paint them black, but then I was like, well, where am I gonna use them? And they're really like on skinny legs. So I wasn't sure what I would do with them because I think maybe they're for tea lights or something, but I wouldn't feel comfortable putting a tea light on there so you could get it battery operated. But I mean, these are all the things that go through my head as I'm shopping, I'm just sharing with you. <laughs> This bowl caught my eye. It's made in Germany, and I thought $5 was a very fair price on this. I'm always drawn in by white dishware and I thought these coffee cups were really pretty. They did say palm restaurants and made in China.
despite their lack of merchandise in other areas, they had a ton of nice baskets. I was looking at this one as a large uh, fishing basket. They only had it for $5. I wasn't sure of the color of the finish. It kind of had like a red tint to it, which I was not really a fan of. And then I saw this, it's like a longer burger not a longer burger but just like one with the lid on it i thought that was cool that is a longer burger tag that's on it and the lid was only a dollar and the basket was only a dollar so it's like these prices didn't really match up with the prices on the other things around the store Okay, I'm done at Cap Agency. It was mildly disappointing. Uh, there was a lot less stuff than normal and a lot of their prices were high. Like four and five dollars for things. I'm like, come on, you're a little tiny thrift store. What are you doing? So that was disappointing. I don't know if they got a new manager or what the scoop is, but I was not impressed. I did get a few things. I spent about $6. Uh, now I'm going to head to Shakopee Goodwill. So this Goodwill, it's not the best Goodwill. Sometimes it's overpriced, but sometimes you find good stuff. And I am waiting for a, a snowstorm to come in. It's Saturday morning and I'm kind of like biding my time while we wait for the snowstorm. So I'm just gonna go to Goodwill cause it's here, it's close. And I'll see if we find anything good. So let's go. This is gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, lots of furniture today. Look at that. That's great. This piece is huge. Oh, their prices are so high. 140 bucks. I mean, it's huge. That has to be like eight feet long. Seven feet. Chris could definitely lay across that and he's six feet. This is cool. that. Looks I wonder if you could tighten that. I'm working with a coupon too. I have a 20% off. This far. Hmm. Looks like it hinged, but it doesn't open. This is really pretty, hand-painted, $50. Spending on the prices, but they have nice things today. Really clean inside. Aw, that's so cool. Julianne, Christmas of 1982 from Wally. You did a good job, Wally. Their chairs were actually reasonably priced. There were three of these spindle type chairs, each at $6.99, and I really wish I had bought one for a desk that I have. I would love it, and I would love to paint it black. So that is my bit of thrift store regret for this store. I loved this birdhouse print. It had far too much pink and like true blue in it to go in my house, but I did love all the birdhouses. I thought it was really pretty. Oh, that's adorable. Not my color. I guess it's for Christmas. That's so cute. Are those holly berries? I think they are. That is so cute. And expensive. I really liked this vintage print. I actually almost bought it. I think it was $5.99. But upon further review, it almost looked like they had cut out like a calendar page and then just placed it on another piece of paper. So this was definitely like a home done job, which is fine. And I was like, yeah, $6. If it was an actual print in an actual mat, I probably would have picked it up. Okay. 
Okay, I'm always looking for lamps. I really like this one. The music is so loud in here. Probably gonna have to voice over this, but I really like this one. But then I saw this one. This is Pottery Barn. That's really nice too. Hmm. They're both $6.99. It's not terrible. For a Pottery Barn light, it's really good actually. This one's cracked. And they have this. Oh, this is cute. I didn't see that till just now. That is adorable. Just takes a little bulb. And they have this brass. You know, brass is back. That's a nice brass. It's not so shiny. This is really shiny brass, but this is like more aged. Hmm. Ooh, that one's 10. No, no, no. I'm not going to pay $10. They also have this aged brass for $6.99. It's not as heavy, but it's kind of nice. And the trouble is always finding a shade. This is a nice shade. I don't know if it's long enough for any of the lamps, but that's a really cheap price. And it's all fabric. See how it doesn't have plastic in it? Okay. I kind of like this. So... Appears to be in working order. It has these little butterfly poles, and it's kind of like kind of brass, but it's really darkly finished. And this shade looks nice on it. Hmm. One thing I was looking for in the textiles, I didn't see any, is crocheted throw blankets because I've heard from other resellers that they sell really well. And that would be an easy way to make back my thrifting money with just like one item. If you've watched my channel for a bit, you know that in the last year or so, I've discovered the Temptations dishes. They are made for QVC and they often look like Polish pottery, especially when they're in the blueprint. This was marked at $14.99, which was very high, but if it had been in the blue pattern, I might have considered it because I really do love those Temptations dishes. And if you've watched many of my videos, I always check the price of this bless this home or give us this day our daily bread dish. This one was $6.99, which was exceptionally high. I thought this little metal plant stand was kind of cute. I was checking it out and trying to think where I could use this in my home. I thought this was a really pretty tin. I'm guessing it's a biscuit tin. It was made in England. I thought it was neat because it had feet on it, which is kind of different to me. I was very much considering this little black stand. I was trying to think where I could put it. Like, it seems like you could just stick this in in a lot of different places in your home and have a neat little spot to display some decor.
they did have some of the heritage pieces that I told you I am starting to collect, but these salt shakers were $3 a piece. I've definitely seen them for better elsewhere. And then I don't think I'm going to buy the cream and sugar because I have a cream and sugar in white that I really like. Like I don't need all of the pieces to the heritage line. I'm mostly just interested in the dinner plates. I thought these were adorable. $3 a piece was too much, but they said like bite, yum. I thought those were really cute for serving. This tabletop mirror set looked handmade. It's something that's on my list, but I want one that's slightly larger. I thought this bowl was really pretty. It did have a ton of crazing, but I thought the colors were really pretty with that green and pink. I was looking at those little age girls and then I spotted this piece. It's a little pitcher and I recognize the glaze. It's a Francoma pottery piece. I was reading about what's on trend in antique spaces and they specifically mentioned Asian pottery and particularly blue and white pieces. So I think it's neat that they had this display here because maybe they were reading that article too. But I was checking out that little blue and white creamer. All right, I am back in the car from Goodwill. I was going to show you my haul in the car because I wasn't expecting to find much, but I actually found a lot of good stuff and bigger things. So I'm gonna show you my stuff when I get home and I might even put some of it in place because I'm doing a little redecorating in the living room, which is our like upstairs area uh, where the computer desk is. If you've seen any of my home tours where Gabe always games, it's like right off of our dining room, not the family room that we're always in. But anyway, the living room, doing some redecorating. So I think I'll put some of the pieces in place and insert that footage and I'll show you my whole haul when I get home. All right, see my lines? Do you see my lines for my mask? <laughs> oh, 
thrifting during COVID is such an interesting time. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back from the thrift stores. I went to Cap Agency and to Goodwill, and now I'll go ahead and show you what I got. From Cap Agency, I spent $6, and then I spent about $24 at Goodwill. I did have a coupon, so anything I show you from Goodwill, the sticker price was then 20% off. So let's go ahead and start with Cap. The first thing I got, I got all baskets at Cap Agency. And the first one is this one. It comes with this Longa Burger tag. It's like a baby tag. This was a thing and you could like buy different tags for your Longa Burger baskets. It's from 2001. That I will take off and sell. But the basket is really nice. It's not a Longa Burger basket. It's um, Royce Craft baskets made in the heart of Ohio. And this one says dad 523-2000. So I don't know if that's the person who weaved it, wove it, wove it. <laughs> I don't use that word very often. So that's that. And then it came with a liner, which is really nice. And so then you can you know use it for like a plant or for food or whatever. You put a napkin in it and whatever. And then it also came with a lid, which that's what really drew me in. Because I think that looks really cute on a shelf. You know, one of my displays, you know, I love baskets. And it because of the lid, you can use it as a riser then. So I think that'll be a nice addition to my decor. And I was asked, ah, wow. I was asked to go slower in my hauls. So I'm trying to honor that. So there you go. Okay. And then the next basket I got, I love this. It's just made in China, but I love the color. I'm not going to do anything to it. It's like a, almost like a taupe, but then it's whitewashed. And I think this is gonna be great, like on a shelf. There's so many things, like you could put lamb's ear in it for spring, you could put boxwood, you could put little eggs, you could for winter put pine cones in it and greenery. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with this. And because it sits on a shelf, it can be used in a lot of places. And it's like not too wide, so it's like shelf depth, so that's good. If you hear noise, <laughs> it's because the kids are in their rooms on the phones with their friends and I'm trying not to like take over the house and make everyone be quiet. So, okay. Oh, and did I say this? This one was $2. Then I got this one. This one I'm going to put in my antique space. I am going to see if anyone wants to buy it. It's a really nice heavy duty basket. I don't personally need one this size right now because I just, I actually just bought a large basket a few weeks ago. So this was only $3 though, and I thought it was so pretty. And you know, the lighter wood tones are coming back. So I thought, well, I'll put it in my antique space. I'll price it nicely. And then I can also use it to display stuff until someone buys it. So that is my plan for that. It was $3, which I think is a really nice price. And it's really clean. You know how sometimes baskets are like grungy or, you know, dusty, but this one's actually in really nice shape. So We'll see if anybody wants it. And if not, it was only $3 and it does make a nice display for my little antique space. All right, so that's all that I got at Cap Agency. I mentioned in the video, Cap was not the best today. Uh, they really didn't have a lot of stuff and the stuff that they had out was kind of overpriced, I thought, for a lot of it. So, ah, but these were not. These were very, very nicely priced. But I don't know if those were like, were those priced a few weeks ago before whatever changed, you know, who knows? So, okay, so let's move on to Goodwill. It's a fairly large haul. I'm gonna show you most of it, and then I'm going to insert footage on two, three of the items so that you can see them in place, because I already put them in place when I came into the house. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'll show you is this. It, so remember, everything was 20% off, and my total at Goodwill was $24. So this was 20% off of $6. It's just an iron uh, like plant stand. That's how I'm gonna use it. And it's kind of rusty, which I like. I wish it was a little less rusty, you know, and more that more of the black kind of dark was showing, but that's fine, I'm gonna leave it. It actually matches my coffee table, which I think I'm gonna switch my coffee tables today. That is, that's one thing I'm doing while I wait for the snow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip flop the coffee tables and see what I think. And the other coffee table from the living room is actually kind of this color. So I'm gonna put this in here uh, over in my sunny corner where I keep plants. And I think it'll look nice, probably next to my wicker chair, my little reading area that I recently created. 
and it'll be a nice place to have another plant. Okay, then let's see. I got this. Danielle from Homemade Vintage is uh, one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. She does a ton of thrifting and decorating. She's kind of like Robin Johnson, kind of a very similar channel. And she recently hauled one of these and has it in her house. She said she got hers off of eBay. I love it and I don't like I don't know if I'll use it this cuz okay and then Carol from my blessed nest also has one she uses hers like this I don't remember how Danielle uses hers but and I'm not sure how I'll use mine but I just think it's really cool and it's an art you know it's like as an architectural piece I was thinking I might put mine on top of a bookshelf that I have and it'll add some visual interest because I just have some really boring white a really boring white bookshelf in that room from Ikea and it has no architectural interest at all. So I was thinking I might use it there or I might hang it on the wall. It does have like the little keyhole thing so that you can hang it. So I really haven't decided yet. It has a groove for plates, which is on this side, which is kind of weird. So I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I was like, I've been influenced because they both picked them up and I'm like, I want one of those. So I found one and it was a good deal and I just, I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna use it yet, but I will let you know once I put it into place. Okay, then moving on, Ooh, I'm dropping things. I picked this up, I'm gonna put this in my little shop because it's a linen and it was cute. It was a 20% off of $1.99. It's really cute and well done piece. And I just, I, there's no stains on it or anything. I just, I have a ton of these. I really don't need any more. So that's why I thought, well, I don't want to leave it here. I'll pick it up and put it in the shop and maybe someone will want it. But I like the colors in it, very springy. So we'll see if someone wants to pick that up. If not, it can go into my collection and that's just fine. And then I also got this for my shop. This is a piece of Francoma pottery. And there's the mark. And it was 20% off of $5.99, which sounds like a lot, but these sell pretty well uh, on eBay. So I will probably start with it in my little antique space. And if no one buys it at the price that I want there, I will either list it on Etsy or on eBay. I haven't decided yet, but I think it's really pretty. The glaze is really pretty. And I think it goes with things that are popular right now. You know, like browns are coming back in and, and green, you know, people are using browns and greens and whites in their decor. So I thought that might be a nice addition or for a Francoma pottery collector would also be someone that might want it. So I thought that was a good deal for 20% off of $5.99. Alrighty, then I also got this basket. Another bag, it was a basket day. I thought this was really cute because it's different. It's like a different shape. This was 20% off of $2.99. And it's kind of like a peach bushel basket, but it has these metal handles. And I just thought it was really cute. So that will go into my basket stash. And baskets are great. They even look good when you just like have them stacked, right? <laughs> Like on top of a hutch with like a pile of baskets. I think that's terrific. Okay, and then I got this for the shop. I need to clean it up, but I think it's like a dish drainer, but I'm gonna use it to display dishes that I'm selling. And it was 20% off of $2.99. Um, I got some from Dollar Tree, but they're kind of like wider spaces. So I think that this will actually work a little bit better for what I want it for. And it wasn't that much money, so. Okay, and then I picked this up. So, you know, I collect restaurant wear creamers, right? And most of mine are white or they have like a little pattern on them. Most of them are not this shape, but I have now one that I picked up, one that was sent to me. And now this one is of this like alternate shape on a creamer, which I think is kind of cool. So I'm gonna start keeping an eye out for these. Boom, another collection is born. It's more like a subset of a collection that already exists. So uh, I don't know if there's a mark on this, but I just, I got it because of the shape. It looks like the mark is kind of wearing off. So I don't know what that said, but that is what that looks like. So that will go into my creamer collection with the ones that kind of look this shape. Okay, and the last two things I got, I'm going to insert footage of here. Okay, I picked up this little lamp. I 
think it was $5.99 with my 20 and then my 20% off coupon. I love it. And then I was plugging it in. I was like, wait, there's no switch on it. What on earth? There's, you know, does it just unplug and plug in? And then look, ah, it's a touch light. So I love this thing. I'm so excited about it. So it looks like a little old fashioned lamp. Sorry, that green dot is from my other light. My camera does not play nice with lights. Um, and I just think it looks great here on my old sewing table. I just moved this upstairs, so nothing's decorated. I told you I'm doing a bunch of redecorating in here because we got rid of those tall cabinets that were driving me bonkers. So nothing is really in here yet, but my lamp is. It's so cute. I really like it. And here's the up close since I didn't just show it to you in my regular hall. It's like a aged brass. Okay, and here's an update. It's much later in the evening. Gabe is gaming if you hear things, Maddie is as well. But I thought you might like to see, I hung the little shelf. This area is not done, because I still need, I need to work out what's gonna be happening on the wall. But I thought you might like to see how I incorporated some of the pieces. I'm so glad I went to the thrift store today because I got so many pieces that I'm using now that I took those big bookshelves out. So here's the little lamp and I set it on a stack. Oops, oh, and it's a touch lamp, I told you that. Um, a stack of brown transferware plates that I had found at the bins. I put some lamb's ear in the basket and set that here. I would like to get a one of the battery operated candles that will come on and off but I need a shorter one I don't have one right now and then here's my little shelf that's Maddie she's laughing with her friends on the phone with my creamers and what else I think that was it from my trip today and then over here I want to show you this side this is the other piece that I wanted to show you that I also got today. I haven't shown this to you yet. I just realized that. So I got this lamp also. I think it was also $5.99. And I think, so there's butterfly pulls on it, which I showed you in the video. I'm guessing this was probably a butterfly finial and someone took it. That is a very common thing that gets stolen in antique shops and in thrift stores is the finials on lamps. So I'm going to get something else that will work up there. And then this is the lovely, um, I also got this for $5, I think. It is uh, a really nice shade because it's cloth here, so it won't ever crack because that's a pretty common problem with lamp shades. And then here's our stuff. Gabe was is burning a little candle, a little wax melter thing. So that's that side of the table as it stands right now. I think I'm gonna paint this table. This is a table I picked up off the trash last summer and I just haven't done anything to it. And I just didn't have a chance to do anything to it before I put it into my decor. So that's what my title is about. I can't believe I found two lamps. And not only that, it's two lamps that I don't have to do anything to. I can just stick them right into my decor. I'm so happy I went to Goodwill on this day. Okay, so that is all. That was my haul from today. Lots of stuff for my home decor for my redecorating project and a few things to sell to recoup some of my money from thrifting. I hope it was fun coming along with me and I will see you next time with another video. Until then, please take care of yourselves and thanks for watching, bye. Mm -hmm.